Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with HP Firearms and uh, today I'm back to bring you video 4, I think it's episode 4, of the uh, homemade electric producing windmill project. So it's a tongue twister. Anyway, my focus today is going to be on um, our, center, our center spindle shaft here. Alright, on the last video I showed welding the washer on the top of that and installing that into the, uh, the top of our uh, bearing seat up there so that it can spin freely. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to work on stabilization so that it doesn't rock, have the play in it like this. Um, we're going to work on stabilization we're gonna work on the, and we're going to work on the battery box which is going to mount down here on the bottom. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so my plan for the support is to use some 5 16 inch rod. It's just a steel solid rod. And I've got a washer here, the same kind of washer that we welded on the top. Now what I want to do is I want to bring this washer up around the shaft of our spindle and find a good happy medium for it, a good place for it to set. I don't want it too low, but I don't want it too high. Now another thing that we're going to do is I'm going to bring this rod in at an angle so that it meets up with the washer and then it's also going to sit back here against our frame and what that's going to do is it's going to allow at an angle there it's not going to flex and right, if we came straight across with it from the four corners that would still allow flex so what I want to do is come in at an angle creating uh, more of a rigid surface or a rigid mounting for it and then we'll come in right around the base of the uh, around the base of the shaft here so let me go ahead and get this first one welded up and I'll show you what I mean Alright guys, so I've got our center support all installed now and cleaned up. Now, with this installed correctly, we should be able to put our center shaft right down through here. And now, any, uh, any play that is in it, it's still got a, just a little bit, but just a fraction of an inch. It still spins freely, and what that's going to do is anything that may be offset, um, the battery box taking the battery in and out, It'll keep it from pushing left and right. So that'll keep it nice and stout in there and uh, secure. So that's done. So uh, now we'll get started working on the battery box. All right, guys. So I've started working on the base of our uh, battery box here. And uh, let me explain a little bit about, about what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, first off, we need a compartment to put our, our battery in that's going to mount on the bottom of that spindle. All right? But at the same time, we need to be able to remove the, the, the box from the spindle so that we can pull our center shaft out for maintenance if we need to. So what I'm doing is I'm building the battery box in two components, two parts. All right, the first part is going to be the box. And this is what the battery is actually going to set in. Now our battery box isn't going to be enclosed because I'm going to be using a marine type battery box holder inside of our box and that'll keep it waterproof and keep it out of the elements. Alright, so all we're doing is building a frame to set our battery box, our battery into. Like I said, the first part is going to be a, the battery box. 
Now I have the, the base frame here and what I'll do is take a couple of pieces of the two inch strips and lay across here so that when we set our battery in here it can just set on those strips. Alright, so that'll be closed in and we'll leave the bottom open and I'm going to drill a couple of holes in the bottom of our box here so if we have any moisture or anything built up inside of our weatherproof box it can just run out the bottom onto the ground. Now the sides of the battery box will be will consist of the same half inch angle line and I'll just put four corners on and then we'll have a uh, front brace and a back brace and then our side braces we're actually going to use a bigger right angle and we're going to flip it out backwards so it creates a lip and that lip is what the battery the battery box itself is going to hang on and then I'll show you that when we start building the lid for the box. So I'm going to continue to work here. My overall size here is uh, 16 by 12 and uh, that will give us plenty of room to put our box inside of there and be able to reach down inside to lift it out and uh, it will also give us room for our cables to come out and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the box and then I'll be back with you guys when I start on the lid. And I'll show you the end product once I get it done. Alright guys, so I just finished the frame up on the battery box. Uh, I got the battery box framework done, or roughed in I should say. Still have to do the finish welding on that, as well as the, uh, the bottom frame piece for the, uh, I think what I'll do is put one, one strap in here in the center, and then I'll probably put a piece of sheet metal on the bottom here. And uh, if I can find some corrugated steel, I'm probably going to try to stick a piece of corrugated steel in here. That way any water will just run out of the bottom of it. And then the lid here is attached with a uh, table, half inch uh, uh, table leg fitting here. And I'll give you a close up here in a second. But basically what, what happens is um, the, uh, the battery box just slides right out of the lid just like this. And then in, in here will be the battery. Uh, so that it can be brought out to be changed out and like I said what we'll do is put the uh, marina type uh, battery box inside of there so that it will be an extra layer of protection and then the lid will stay on here and uh, I, the way I've done the lid is I actually used a uh, half inch table leg uh, flange close up here half inch table leg flange hopefully you can see that it's kind of dark in here the lighting sucks uh, let me see if I can get the motion sensor to come on on this light here there we go maybe that will help out a little bit so see I used just a, a table flange uh, table leg flange here and that just screws right onto the base of our pipe what I did was um, I used some uh, one inch angle, uh, eighth inch thick, one inch angle for our cross braces. And then I used inch and a half for the slides for the drawer. That way it leaves that little gap there for the drawer, the drawer to slide in and out of. And then I think what I'll do is on the back side of one, I'll probably just put a bead of weld. That way the, it won't slide out the back. Um, and then in the center here for the center brace, I used uh, two little strips of three quarter inch by eighth inch angle iron. Just welded them together, and that actually sets deeper so that it won't interfere with the uh, with the drawer itself. So that'll be the lid, and then I'll take a piece. I think I'm going to use a piece of sheet metal and just cover over the top of this, and uh, that'll keep any any snow or uh, or uh, water from just running its course down in there. So then we just take this flange and we screw it right under our pipe here. And clean that up. I got a little bit of uh, slag on it. The benefit of uh, the benefit of doing it to where the lid will actually come off is so that if we need to disassemble it we can take that off and we can actually pull our rod back out of here.
and the purpose of making it so that the battery box spins with the windmill is because we're going to run our wiring run our wiring for our charging system from the from the platform right down through the pipe into the battery box so what would happen if we if we had a, a stationary battery in our platform uh, spun then our cable or our wiring for our charging line would actually just tangle up until the platform wouldn't spin anymore. So with this, this is a nice smooth turn. I don't think it's going to take hardly any um, wind to actually spin it. And that was the, the purpose of putting the bearing up top. I've seen some people build some homemade windmills um, using black pipe unions and just leaving the union a little loose so that it spins, but that's a lot of friction. And the more weight you add, the more friction that you're going to have. So by putting a bearing in there, it spins nice and easy. And I mean, I can, I can give this a little spin, and it'll sit here and spin for five minutes. And then our, uh, our support in here that we put in is really going to help out a lot. Because if the wind picks up, of course, it's going to try to blow anything big like a battery box. And this will keep it from torquing out of, out of uh, square, I guess you could say. But um, I think that's going to work out perfect. Like I said, it's just tacked together right now, just kind of fitted. Um, what I'll do is, is once we get the whole thing assembled, um, as far as all the framework, then we'll break it down piece by piece, and I'll go ahead and prime, finish, finish all the welding and grinding, uh, prime it and paint it, and then we'll reassemble it for the, the, the final reassembly. But uh, I think this is going to work out great, and I'm really happy with the way this turned out here. So um, that's pretty much it for the battery box. Now, the next project is to work on the platform for the actual windmill and the bank and all that stuff. So um, I will uh, I'll finish up the battery box later once we get it all done, like I said. And uh, then we'll just kind of go from there. I'll show you guys the finished product once I get the battery box complete. And then, but like I said, next video we'll work on the uh, the platform for the windmill itself. Um, and then we'll get into once we do the platform, that'll be the next video. And then the video after that, um, we'll get to working on the uh, installing the motor or the charger. And uh, we'll go ahead and we've got to make the, uh, the rear panel that'll change the direction. We've got to make the uh, uh, actual propeller still. Um, and then we still have to do all the wiring. So we got plenty to, plenty to go, probably uh, another uh, four or five videos yet. So uh, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, if you haven't seen the project to this point, go back and watch the other episodes for this. Um, don't forget to subscribe so that you can be uh, have an automatic update whenever uh, I post the newer videos as we go along with our progress here. So anyway guys, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun.